Good morning, everyone. This is Mary Flower. I have a friend that saw my other envelopes that I made uh, with the travel journal since she requested five. She wanted several fairies because she's giving these to her daughters. And I said, would you like botanical or fairy tale? She says, anything you want to do. And she just ordered from, from me. Now, these are $25. I'm finding that people just want these. And so I'm leaving my email address in the um, link above. And if you want to PayPal, $25 plus $3 shipping to me, I'm happy to send these out to you. Um, I've done this with several people already, and I hope they enjoy them. And um, anyway, I'll, we'll go and look at the ones I've made for her. This one, it, the size on this, let me move the others out of the way. This one is approximately five by seven. And I've made all of these with uh, string closures. Let me adjust this. And I have used some of Amy Brown's. I have a book by Amy Brown and her fairies. So I cut apart her fairies from the book and collaged them. And let me show you the outside first. I have uh, white ivy going along here. It's pretty plain, but as you can see, I've machine stitched. It's hard for me to say that. These uh, envelopes. And here you see one of her little blonde fairies. And the little pit, the little uh, image I chose for the book is another blonde fairy, and she has sort of an ivy throne and I mean a crown and staff there. So I used some more ivy on here. And these are pretty simple. I these are travel journals, and you can use them for whatever you want. I've tried to keep them pretty simple on purpose so that you can add whatever you want, pictures, images, uh, drawings, uh, writing, whatever you want on these. But they're easy to carry with, and they have a nice little envelope to go in them. back of the card and the front and the back is really nice and goes with it very well so um, there you have the first one this one's called my blonde fairies because I chose a couple of you know blonde fairies for her I think she has a daughter that is blonde and then the next one, I used another um, set of images from her book, and I just put fairy. And I put this little section of song. It says, you left me all alone. There's no time to weep and moan. And on this, I chose another fairy that is somewhat similar to this one. It has nice inside uh, inside the cover there. Pretty simple pages to write on, to do whatever you want. But I tried to make them as fairy-like as possible. I have to put some botanical things with, you know, they just go with fairies. And... So there you have it. Sort of a little bit clumsy there. Uh, but anyway, that's the second one. Then I have the one that has to do with birds and uh, botany in here too as well. So you can see the little nest here. I like the little brads on here because they kind of remind me of spotted eggs. And um, these are all machine stitched. 
it's difficult for me to say, but there's a lot of work in them. They've been inked. And what I found was a old book. This is the dust cover from a book about birds. And it just says, and I cut it down. It just says the bird. I think it's something like bird lo loving or something. I don't know what it was, but um, I think it matches really fun here and inside the covers to make it stiffer. I used uh, a bird uh, designer paper. And as you can see, I'm using pretty simple papers. And whoever gets this, these will be very fun. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's more like six by eight in dimension here. So that's the uh, second one, or right, third one, right? And then this one is Beauty and the Beast. And I took it from an old uh, fairy tale book. And I love the colors in it. It's so uh, old fashioned. And it says, You are loved on there. And it says, There once was. Here's the back. Uh, stitched along the edges and I chose a rose since uh, Beauty and the Beast has to do with uh, the rose I chose a, a book where that has rose on the front and same with this I've chose colors a little more pastel for this because it kind of matches the um, the envelope a little better and as you can see there's a lot of uh, fun places to write on these I'm not sure how many pages but quite a few so so that's my uh, fairy tale Beauty and the Beast and they all have the string closures and then my largest one which is I think about 10 and a half or, or 11 by about eight. And this one's a very large one. And what I did with this one is I had these, oh, really cool, uh, that I found these very large um, flowers that had glitter in them. And as you can see, I've used it on here and used it on the front here, stitched it around, used the, some of the uh, ivy here and collaged this. And the little clasps or the little brads I've used in here are quite pretty. And this one, this is also Amy Brown's uh, uh, images uh, from her book that I've cut out. And she's blowing bubbles, so I just added more bubbles. And then his, this is the largest of all of them. So... I will, I have a bunch, I've made about 45 of these books, and I've showed some, and on the other videos, I will also leave uh, my email on that, and so you have to just email me quickly and tell me which one you want, and the first person that wants it will get it. I've already sold several, and... That is the travel journal, and this one's a little larger, and so I've tried to make them different sizes for her um, because just because I wanted to give her a variety. So there they are, and I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and I love comments, and I always try really hard to uh, answer because I really appreciate your taking time to write a comment. Um, anyway, you have a day, nice day. Check out my link and, uh, thank you very much. Bye.